It's a cold, wet, rainy day today. I'm going to change up the editing a day, not talk too much in front of the camera, and only talk about the problems we see. Let me know what you think of this uh, type of editing style. Thanks, guys. Let's go check it out. Some damaged screens, and then also we they put on some like a solar film. We report this too as well. And then right over here, you can see all the weather stripping in the solar film, or they call it weather glazing, window glazing, is all coming apart here from the intense heat. Right here we have some questionable flashing we wanna pay extra attention to. And then it looks like they've replaced some of the siding. Nope, this one's all the original siding over here. So we, we got some water leaks in the garage. We're gonna see if this is active. Also, you wanna look at the gutters here. You can see the gutter has a poor slope right here in this area. And you can see right behind the gutter, there is some rollout right behind it. A little bit closer at the window, they got some new caulking, but forgot this nice giant little hole. Water right Not, yeah, just a perfect water track, right? Yeah, right there. This area you always wanna pay special attention to with the bushes, you wanna make sure that you look behind them because if you have these bushes, the, the, it's easy area for termites. I mean, they like, to, they like this type of environment. I mean, this is actually really well done. I wouldn't call this out in a termite inspection report. So right here, this is a masonite siding. You wanna pay attention to masonite siding because this stuff is older material it's starting to warp and rot in a lot of areas and you want to make sure that the bottom edges are painted so you can see right here it's starting to warp in these areas so you always want to get a screwdriver or something and test the integrity of the masonite walking around and we always kind of document small things like this too damaged sidewalks and minor cracks in the driveway yes it's not a major issue but you still want to document it because the client may be concerned about it we are missing a splash guard, have a small corner pop, pretty minor stuff. So this is the main water shutoff area and he found a bug while he opened it, but we always pull back the insulation on it and we just try to identify it as make sure there's no leaks, but you wanna be careful because ants and stuff and, and spiders are attracted to these areas and uh, you just wanna make sure there's no leaks, active water leaks. <laughs> missing splash block. It, I mean, it's misplaced, so just want to make sure they're in the right area. And then we always check the water pressure. We like to normally do it on at least one side of the property, but we'll do two sides of the property uh, if, we, if the opportunity presents itself to make sure that the pressure holds from side to side. And uh, we got pretty decent pressure, almost uh, 60 PSI. Right here on this side, you can see the gutters have the same issue. You have some roll back right here and then you can even see where it's caused some damage in the soffit area and pulling back it's really easy it tells the whole story see it's not dispersing the water very well you fall the water stains down so we have a lot of drainage issues in this area you got the marsh like foli foliage so we're going to write up marginal drainage we have gutters not properly sloped dirt damaged gutters and then we have some lifting shingles there. And we, when we, we flew the drone, we got uh, the lead jacks. They were eaten up by all the squirrels in the area and that's the cause of some of the water leaks. Here, we're getting some damage in the uh, masonite siding here. It's starting to warp in some areas. So we're gonna let our client know that they have replaced some of the siding, but not all of it. So we have a combination between hardy and uh, masonite. No, that's too different masonite sidings um it's sidings so you can see right here this is fiber cement siding and then right here as you get a little closer you can really see that difference between hardy and masonite and especially the older masonite you can see how it's starting to expand and uh, rot so this is one of the concerns that we're going to show our client here uh, whoever installed this new siding this 
hardy plank or fiber cement. We don't know that it's exactly hardy, but it needs to be two inches off the roof and then also kick out flashing has to be installed here. You can see there's water gonna be rolling off of the, the roof here and running right in to the door. So, and it can easily get behind the siding in that location. So it is required by both manufacturers that kick out flashing be installed. So right here, Josh uh, spotted this area where this is the evidence of previous termite treatment and these are pretty close together uh, but he's checking the uh, what am i what's word am i missing here for framing board <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> yeah the form board he's checking the form board because termites like to live in this area and they'll eat up on this wood but that just looks like a uh, rot so right here we have a little bit of drainage issue too as well easily corrected but we still are going to let our client know and then you could see where they just replaced the bottom half of the siding and didn't uh, do the top half um, not for us to determine why they did that it could be budget reasons or the other siding had a little bit of life left on it uh, to save some money but even right here you can see that we have the uh, the range exhaust going but whenever we go through our first pass we always like to turn on all the exhaust systems so we can see the fans blowing on the outside Stuff like this you really want to pay attention to. Easy area for water to get in right next to a window. So it helps tell the whole story. And again, you have the uh, the uh, weather stripping in the windows. So looking up, you can see all the damage on that, that masonite. So we got a Square D panel box. We like to take several photos of it. So he took a photo before he opened it. And then we have Missing knockouts, not properly label, labeled, missing screws, dead front cover damaged. Is is it loose at the wall? No, it's, it seems all right, but it needs to be sealed at the wall. And uh, he'll start to open it up. So right here, got some pretty good finds. Uh, I mean, this is pretty common, the double lug neutrals. But right here, you can see that we have the damage on the back bar here, and you can see it's maybe arced in the past so easy call out for an electrician so right here we're not walking on this roof because it's raining uh we could have got on uh, the garage area but you could see right here we have some granule loss and then coming across we have a lot of tar around the flue here the that's the furnace flue and then the water heater flue it's pretty rusted up and you can even see the the collar is needs to be sealed and reset on that too and then this is where we had the water stains right above the master i mean right around those plumbing stacks same areas and then you can see the gutter has a poor slope and then we even have some rot behind the the uh the gutter over there so we always do a close pass and then a wide pass to make sure that we're taking a look at it and then around the chimney over there too as well you can see you need a two inch clearance and uh, we want to clearing up that wood rot around the trim too as well. So we had previous, sorry about the water on the screen, but we had some previous work obviously done before. You got a gutter, hammer, and some sort of other tool in the, the gutter there too as well. So we found a new pair of booties that we uh, started implementing in our business. They have tread on the bottom and they actually stick, which is nice. I'll be adding these to my uh, home inspection tool list. We like to carry the uh, little giant ladder. This is my favorite ladder. Uh, this is the newer one with like the uh, plastic fittings on the edge. I have also the older one and little giant's my favorite. It's on our tool list too as well. And uh, we have, I've had the other one and it's still flawless. You just had to add a little bit of WD-40 to it. W, yeah. <laughs> just a, and it's lasted about seven years so far the other one and it's been with me on hundreds of inspections so right here this is why i really like this bright white flashlight because you can see these water stains here on the the roof the ceiling <laughs> and but that that fixture over there projects a yellow tint so if you don't have a white flashlight you could have easily missed these water stains just because i can i'm going to bring up the booties one more time you can see this is a perfectly white carpet and in, if you had any type of mud on your shoes it would show up and i'm sure you would get a phone call so make sure you wear booties in a property and uh, one of the final things i'm going to cover is right here don't be alarmed if you see uh discolored water like that sometimes it's just a fitting 
We have copper plumbing in here today, so it hasn't been used in a while. So what we'll have to do is fill this up, drain it out, and fill it up again just to make sure if it was dirty or there's a corroded fitting somewhere that we need to report on. Areas like this too, it's, I hope it shows up in the camera, but you can see that there's patchwork in this area. If you see patchwork, this is something where they've had a problem in the past and you need to focus on as a home inspector. So right now we're right underneath the bathroom, so the same area where we're load testing the tub, we're gonna release all the water at one time and then use our FLIR camera, a thermal imaging camera right underneath it. Final, final topic right there, I'm just gonna cover this just real quick before we leave is right here you can see the fitting on the water heater shut off, it's obviously corroded. They have some sort of dissimilar metal going on, some dielect they need a dielectric union and it's starting to leak and uh, um, leak and have corrosion. So this is something that I'd recommend to be repaired immediately. There you go, That's I'm gonna wrap the video up there. There was a little bit more on the property but I hit all the major points. If you like these types of videos, please hit that like and subscribe button. It's the best way to catch us on the next one. And please let me know if you like that style change. I made it less flashy and kind of about me and more about the property. And if you like that kind of editing style, please leave a comment and tell me you want more. All right, thanks guys. Bye.